Hi, this is tutorial 6, case problem 1. The first step, we had to save the workbook as Java Cafe, which I already did, and step 2, we had to enter the name and date in the documentation sheet. Now, step 3, we have to group the sheets quarter 1 through quarter 4, and to do that, you have to make sure that the first one is selected, and then hold down the shift key and press the last one you want to group. Now, we have to add twirls and I already did that so I'm going to delete them and redo them. So, to add twirls, I'm going to select the range, the first range they ask us for, which is B8 through F8 and I'll use the auto sum button and then for the second range F5 through F7 I'm going to add the sum for the first cell and then I will just copy that one down and now if we look at the other sheets we can see that the total was added to these two since they were all grouped now we have to choose the formatting, so I'm just going to bold column A and row 4. And then I'm going to add the dollar sign and no decimals and commas were already added because of the dollar sign and I will add some borders the bottom border here the top border for the totals and a left border on this side and again the same thing was done for the other quarters now I'm going to ungroup the sheets by clicking the documentation sheet and then I have to make a copy of any of the four quarter sheets and places between documentation and core one. So to make a copy, hold down the control key and drag any one of the sheets over. So that's my copy. And then I have to rename this as summary sales. Now I have to delete the values from the summary cells. So I'm just going to select them, select range B5 through E7 and press the delete button. So my values disappeared but my formulas stayed. In step 5 I have to use 3D reference to add up the uh, four quarters in the summary cell sheet. So click the cell in which you want to add the formula, in this case it's B5 for our first one, and then type in equal, sum, and open parentheses. Now I have to group the four quarters, so I clicked on the first one, and then hold down the shift key and press quarter four, and then click the corresponding cell. B5 and enter. So we got a total of 131,600. Now I could do the same thing for the other cells but it's much easier to just copy it and because my sum formulas are still here it's just going to do it automatically. In the next step I have to set up the summary cells and the four quarterly worksheets for printing. So I have to group all of them the four quarters and the summaries and then in page layout under page setup click more and they want to place them horizontally centered on page and then they want a custom header which would be to insert sheet name in the center section they also want a custom footer in the right section, they want the name on one line 
and the date on the next line. So type my name into the next line and then press the date key. And we can also preview because they were all grouped it did the same thing for all five sheets now I have to save this workbook and then I have to remove the formulas from each of the quarterly worksheets to do that it's much easier to group them than do each one of them select the range then right click and clear content so this way the formulas remain now i have to return to the documentation worksheet and save the workbook as an excel template with the name java template so here is documentation and then in file save as java template and in save as type the Excel template with extension XLTX and I'm going to save this together with my with my Java Cafe file then in step 9 we have to use the Java template file to create a new workbook so this is already the Java template and we have to add value 1 to the range B5 through E7 in all four quarters so group these four and then add the value 1 and just copy it over and they just want to check that the template actually works so this is correct 12 total the same in all four in summary we should get 48 which is correct and then we have to save this again as java cafe 2014 so save as again then i'm going to change it back to a next workbook and change it into java cafe and that's it for this tutorial